Um, okay, now this is the one thing. The one thing that's happened this week that I'm actually really interested in. Uh, Asmongold. Now, Asmongold is somebody who I have no affili- no, um, what's the word? Affinity? Not affinity. No, it's like a underst- it's a word that means understanding. I'm going crazy. No. <laughs> a word. Understand. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Appreciation? Mm. Dude, I'm. My ears. My brain is just melting out of my ears. No. I am losing it. <laughs> Chat is like giving me all the wrong words and it's just completely destroying me. <laughs> I have very little understanding or appreciation or affinity or affirmation or whatever. I, I barely know him. I here's my here's my basis for Asmongold. I he's like a World of Warcraft craft streamer, right? And he lives in he lives in like filth. He's like a multi millionaire. And he lives in filth. I will say this. I absolutely fucking detest his voice. And I think he is so fucking ugly. His ugliness raises like a primitive, primal hatred in my, in my bowels. I just, I just hate fucking looking at him. Because he's so fucking ugly. He looks a lot like Styx. That's why I say that. That, that phenotype of like... Like really long face, stupid ass fucking look... He kind of looks like a halfway point between Cyrax and Styx Exenhammer and all of those, like, two of the ugliest fucking people that have ever lived. Just, like, genuinely appalling, like, offensive to the sight, like, immediately decrease your opinion of them upon first, upon first look, because it's just, like, uh, I don't know. Like, people, people evaluate you based on how you look, and Asmongol looks like you hate him, and then you have to work out from there. He just looks ugly. Uh, so, I, I don't like I don't like his face. Is what I'm trying to say. But he went on to Twitch, and he he's I think he's genuinely autistic. I wouldn't be surprised if he has like an Asperger's diagnosis or something. So he just states like a real genuine autistic take, and that's not like an offense because autistic people tend to, for better or for worse, they tend to cut out any kind of social awareness from their positions so he looks at the conflict in israel in palestine and he says hmm uh i know jews and they don't kill gay people i like gay people and because you know autistic people always tend to flex very liberal and progressive because um i think it's like an autistic perspective where you don't want to have to conform to society i think that's like a fair perspective like they don't fit in, so why would they want a box to to fit into? You know what I mean? So it's like I, I would prefer things as long as there's no like harm. I would prefer things to be as open as possible. I think that's why a lot of autistic people are like libertarian because they don't they they're too autistic to have a box or like a society want to fix into. Um, so he is Lilbert. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's what, it. Just makes sense because they don't they can't fit into a box. So why would they want one? So he looks at the situation. And he says, "Well, Jews." Don't infringe on my my non-aggression pact, but Muslims do want to kill gay people because it's baked into Sharia fucking law. So therefore, fuck Palestine. Very logical sequence of events. I want a society that's as liberal as possible. Palestinians are illiberal. Therefore, go Jews because Jews are pretty liberal. I mean, you got gays and shit in Israel. There's no problem. It's the only place in the Middle East where you got gays like that. So, uh, he decided to drop this bomb on the internet, and uh, it upset people. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So, so st like, every, he, he kind of, like, builds this up, and he's very explicit about what he says, which I give him credit for, because apparently people say he's, like, a continuous fence-sitter. Um... But not in this one. So step one, Muslims will genocide. It's built into Sharia law. 
So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I Number two, maybe they are being genocided. So I accept that there might be a Palestinian genocide committed by Israel against the Palestinians, but if they are, good. Fuck them. Don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's a step further. Objectively, in his mind, not only do they is it quid pro quo or tit for tat or all fair and love and war, but also they just suck. Fucking hate them. Their culture sucks ass. And actually, explicitly says next. Not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Mm. Just drinking some roach cola real quick. Mm. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. So uh, step three or four, whatever we're at. Uh, if they were not being genocided, if it were, if the shoe was on the other foot, uh, they would be killing as many gay people as possible. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity, and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for, and it is an inferior culture in all ways. I think what got him in trouble, especially with this, is the term inferior culture. Because that hinges really hard or very closely to a particularly no no thing that you can never ever do on any of these fucking platforms. And that is dehumanize. You can never dehumanize a group by saying that they're worse or inferior. So that was like his big fucking blunder is that he came out of the gate and said, yeah, they're just straight up fucking worse than us. Um, and I broke Rumble somehow. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I then, don't care. And then one extra step. He goes a step further and says, like, yeah, sure, I guess some of them are innocent and I feel bad for those. Not any of them. The women, the children, the little baby Palestinians, the ones in the children's hospitals that are leveled... Fuck them all. They all suck. There was no hope for any of them. Objectively worse than me in every way, shape, and form. Objectively worse than the Jews in every way, shape, and form. Don't care. And you can't make me care. I don't support them. <laughs> I don't support them. Fuck you. <laughs> um, really on the nose, uh, but good on them. Taking a position that's so hard that it could not possibly be walked back. So here's um, him being uh, chewed out by Asmongol or by Hassan. Before that, I think he. Let's see, Monday at ten. Okay, so the Hassan thing happened first. Um... It's also additionally ironic when when we talk about LGBTQ support because. This community fucking, like, his community hates gay people in representation and shit, in, like, video games. So what the fuck? So this is him losing the support of the Hassan Piker, the man who gets to decide who stays and goes on Twitch.tv. So Hassan has to come out and say, you gotta crack the whip and say, no, -uh. this is an acceptable policy on this platform. That's the other part of this that I don't understand. It's like, oh, Western culture is so superior. We love the gays, except I fucking throw a fit every time I see them in my video games. If I see a woman in a video game, I lose my fucking mind. But it's bad when Palestinians, I, I have imagined an alternative reality when Palestinians also do that. And I hate it when they do that. What the fuck? What's really weird is that Hassan and I have the exact same mic. If I screamed like he does, I would completely blow out your fucking eardrums. And if I tried to, like... And, like, he's so close to his mic, it, it would disgust you if I got as close to my mic as he does. So, he must have, like, a his his gain, like, as low as humanly possible. He keeps he has to keep his mouth literally up against the, 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 the little puffy thing. Like, I have a feeling that his microphone stinks because he must be emitting bad, like, Muslim breath germs directly into that thing, like, eight hours a day, every day.
And then he seems to have it tweaked specifically so that if he screams at the top of his lungs, it doesn't peak. Like, that seems to be, like, his entire thing, so that he can do that thing where he's like, what the fuck? Like, as loud as possible. <laughs> like, that seems to be what his, his kit is geared out for. Um, so Asmongold and Hassan talk for three and a half hours in that stream after he, he called him out, and I couldn't watch it because of this. I had to go out and immediately buy Domino's Pizza. Uh, Twitch is one of the only websites where ad blocker doesn't work because they bake the ads directly into the, the bit stream so that there's no way to actually filter them out. Uh, as a result, um, I just don't watch Twitch. And if YouTube implemented something like this, I would literally just stop watching YouTube altogether. You can't fucking force me to watch an advertisement. I'm not going to pay you for the privilege of not watching advertisements. So as a result, I just don't ever watch Twitch ever. And the first time I've ever tried to watch Twitch in like the last however fucking long, um, I was forced to watch a Domino's pizza advertisement. And what's really, really funny about this is that usually, and I even even as little as I watch Twitch, I picked up on this. Usually when an ad plays on Twitch, it says something like, these ads support your streamer. Or we'll be right back, or something like that. It has like a very neutral sounding thing that kind of implies that it's an automated ad break. But the wording of this message is extremely, extremely explicit. Hassan Abi is taking an ad break. Stick around to support the stream. I am very convinced that he. I know that they can trigger these ads on on um on purpose, like deliberately. And I am convinced that when I was watching when. Asmongold started talking in reply to him, it would go to ad break, like immediately, like within seconds. And I got the sense that he was manually triggering ad breaks only when Asmongold was talking, so I couldn't even hear what he would have to say in reply to him. And I just thought that was the most disgusting fucking thing I've ever seen from any person ever in the, like, ever. Just one of the most avaricious, spineless, pussy cuckold things that I've ever fucking seen. It was an antithetical to absolutely everything that I've ever supported. Every virtue I've ever had that I just bailed after, like, 30 seconds of watching this shit. Um, so I can't tell you what happened in that debate, and quite frankly, I don't care. But, uh, it's kind of notable that, uh, he was brought low... He was brought on to, what, isn't there another streamer that, like, brings people on to, like, talk them down? Kind of like Ethan Ralph would do that, where you have to go on the kill stream to, like, state your case. But that was, like, way back when. Is it, I feel like there's another streamer that does this, where it's, like, every time you fuck up, you have to show up on their stream to get, like, rehabilitated. Destiny, yeah. Destiny. Destiny invites people on, like, hey, buddy, you said something real problematic. Um, that's funny. Doesn't Destiny and, and uh, Hassan, or Hassan hate each other? Yeah, Augie also does it a little bit, but that's like in a small circle. Destiny is probably what I was thinking of. Okay, so there's that. Then there was his apology post that came afterwards. Looking back on it, I was way too much of an asshole about the Palestine thing. My bad. Of course, no one deserves to have their life destroyed, even if they do things or have views I find regressive. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that. I'll do better. So I just want to give you get a, a thing here that this guy says that I shouldn't have my life destroyed for having regressive views. Uh, I have a feeling that that's that's apology is probably too far in the other direction where it's like whoa buddy wait a second we should be destroying people it's just very specifically the palestinians for reasons that are completely lost on me it must be like a thing where it's just like they're brown they're muslim and muslims are like the pet cause of progressives right now because of the european immigration crisis brown people always get a big plus and then I, I, I don't know, I, they say that Israel is like neo-colonialism, but I don't, I don't think people actually give a fuck about that. But, um, is it, I mean, Jews are kind of brown. There's like Israelis who have a Palestinian background or from, um, are like Khazarites or whatever. There's like Arab Israelites that they're, they're very... I don't know, they're like swarthy, Mediterranean, a lot of them. The Ashkenazi Jews are the really pale ones, but um, there's tons of Jews that are like ethnically more Arab 
than European. But for some reason, the Palestinians get all the uh, the sympathy. Jews are white racists in the progressive mind. That's not true, though, because they get um, exemption from white white privilege because of the, of the Holocaust. Yeah, Shepardic Jews is what I was referring to. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, he apologized for it to avoid the consequences of, of having a dumb tea. Actually, he got banned. Straight up fucking banned from Twitch. Uh, his account, Zach Rar, which was his main one, had like millions of followers, and he just got straight up fucking dunked by Twitch. Uh, which I am not actually that surprised by, because it's so very specifically the inferior culture thing. You're not allowed to make any kind of comparative statements between peoples and cultures and races. Like, that's strictly forbidden. You can't say that the Japanese are better than the Chinese. You can't say that the Palestinians are inferior to the Israelites. You can't say anything like that, because that's dehumanizing. Now, obviously, um, the Chinese are better than the Japanese. <laughs> obviously, the Palestinians are worse than the Jews. Uh, but you can't say that on certain platforms. They get really angry about that. Um, so, I don't know if it's a temp ban or a permanent ban, but... Yeah. I don't know. Coming to kick, bro. We will accept you. All the lib, all the libertarians are welcome on kick. Oh, it's a fourteen day ban. That's pretty light. That's pretty lenient. Fourteen day ban. Yeah, that's not too bad. Especially for saying inferior. That's that's a that's a big no no word, man. That's like the n word. You can't you can't say that. Uh, but it it is weird to see Twitch take a hard stance on. For like a pro-Palestine position, because I don't like the corporate world can't stand for that. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.